I was so excited to come to the University of Illinois as a journalism major. Um, I've wanted to be a journalist since I was a kid when I was watching Sex and the City where I saw Carrie Bradshaw um, publishing all those books. So, you know, it was a big inspiration for me. On move-in day, my suitcase flew off the top of my car on 57 and busted open. Um, that was a lot of fun. So we had to pull over and we had to stop traffic so that I had clothes all over 57 North, South, everywhere. You know what? Listen, that was the last thing I had expected to happen coming down here my freshman year. Uh, it was a rough start, but you know, it's all gotten better since then. And at the end of the day, I'm having the time of my life down here. Hey, it's gonna be five bucks here. Oh, thank you. Oh, my bad, oh, sorry. So my name is Alec, I work for the Daily Illini covering sports. A couple weeks ago I was at this party uh, covering this music event and all the lights went out and when the lights were out this box of money just disappeared so when the lights came back on everyone was really confused like where this box went so pretty interesting night. Whoa, sorry about that everyone. Hey, the cash box is gone. I love journalism. I'm from Xi'an, China, and when I saw the journalism program, especially the broadcasting program at U of I, I knew this was my place. I was actually at that show to get some video for a piece on the underground music scene in Urbana, but I happened to check the snap story I posted right before the lights went out. Take a look. I wasn't sure exactly where to go with this footage, but I knew I had to get it out there before someone got accused of something serious. Luckily, one of the other broadcast journalism students contacted me. The idea of grabbing a camera and going out to the field to find a story delights me more than anything else. This is a job that makes you more humble every day. After the revelation of one journalism student's snapshot story, we're no longer sure if there was any robbery to begin with. What we also don't know is where that cash box went. Oh. It seems we have an update. Let's go to our cameraman in the field. Hey. Uh, I'm sorry, what, what's going on? So we'd like to take you in for questioning about a missing cash box. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, hey, get out of here. This was a surprising development of the story. Stay tuned throughout the week because we will be providing more updates. Coming to you from Urbana, Illinois, I am Isabella Perez. Wow, I can't believe I get to do this every day. Ross Brown with you here on WPGU 107.1 FM on the University of Illinois campus. After a quick commercial break, we'll be back with more coverage of the disappearing cash box and in the meantime, enjoy these messages from our sponsor. It is not yet known where the cash box has gone. However, for the time being, the police are still investigating this as a robbery. Their main suspect, the man last seen with the box, is currently being held for questioning. We'll have more updates soon. Oh my gosh, I think I know where the box is.
This is awesome. Uh, you know, this is my first story I've ever had published in a newspaper. Yeah, this is huge. I feel so accomplished. <laughs> uh, wow, um, I, you know, I had a really rough start coming down here, but I don't know. I couldn't imagine myself anywhere else.